How y'all doing? My next couple of videos are going to be about homemade baby food. Can you buy baby food? It costs a lot of money. You're not buying one jar of baby food and that's going to feed your baby for a day, for a day, two days, you know? You're going to buy a few jars of baby food every time you go to the store. That adds up after a while. If you go to the produce department, you can buy your squash, sweet potatoes, green beans, carrots, cheap. Depends on what store you go to and if you buy organic or not. I made my own homemade baby food. I made squash and sweet potato that I made videos of so far. And I wanted to, I got this pamphlet from Wick. I'm not going to go over everything that's in it. I was just concerned about this to make your own homemade baby food. These are a few tips. To make pureed baby food, number one, prepare your meats by removing the bones, skin, and visible fat. Number two, you're going to prepare your fresh fruits and vegetables by scrubbing and peeling off the skin. Remove your stems, pits, and seeds. Some fresh fruits like bananas and most canned fruits and vegetables don't need to be cooked before pureeing. Buy canned foods that have no added sugar, syrup, or salt. Number three, boil foods until soft and just enough water to cover the foods. Allow to cool. Puree food in a food processor or blender, adding small amounts of cooking water until mixture is smooth and creamy. So those are a few tips on how to make your own baby food. The two videos that I have already made are butternut squash and sweet potatoes. My butternut squash cost me $1.98 and two sweet potatoes cost me a dollar and change. They're 98 cents a pound. They were about a pound and a half. So I spent a little over a dollar on two sweet potatoes. Two sweet potatoes made me 12 servings. I use these bags that you use for, to store breast milk instead of the ice cube trays that I've seen other people do. 12 of these. That's 12 servings for your baby for two dollars or a dollar and change. And I made eight of the butternut squash. I got a smaller butternut squash. I made eight of these. That's eight servings. And I spent a little over two dollars or two dollars and whatever. That's going to feed your baby for a week or whatever. For a little amount of money than you're spending on baby food. Yes, it's a process. It takes a little bit of time, maybe an hour. You know, by the time you boil and or peel and chop and boil and blend it. But look at what you get out of it in the process. After all that... You have your baby food that's nutritious. You know what's in it. You made it yourself. So you know exactly what's in it. You know exactly what your baby is getting. And you only took a little bit. Of they have frozen ones. Squash. Sweet potatoes. Regular potatoes. Already cut. You can buy carrots. Already cut. You just want to wash them. Not the frozen ones. But the ones that you buy in the produce section the carrots are you can buy them already cut up all you're going to do is boil them like you would a potato and do the same process make sure that you wash them though even though they're cut for you make sure you wash them so use your blender your food processor blend them up get storage bags i have these other people use ice cube trays and then put them in freezer bags you can do whatever you want to, it's yours. And you're going to have your own food you know, for your baby to eat. And you know what's in it. No chemicals or anything else. It's healthy. You feed in your own baby and you're saving how much money. Alright, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoy the videos I'm going to be making. And that's it. Have a great night.